Hi guys, Chris here and you're watching Here We Are Running. And this week, I'm gonna try and run 50 miles for the first time. So if you've been watching regularly for the last few weeks, you'll know I've been setting myself little challenges, taking part in challenges that have been organised as well, uh, just to keep the motivation going really. And this week, I thought, well, I'm going to set my own challenge. And that is to run further in a week than I've ever run before. So the last two weeks have both been in the 70s. I think 72 last week, 75 kilometres the week before and my furthest I've ever run in a week back in the marathon training was 79 kilometers. So this week I'm gonna try and do 80 kilometers or 50 miles, which as I say would be the first time that I've done that sort of distance in a week. And of course, it is a little bit different than when I've done high mileage weeks during marathon training, because normally then there would have been a long run at the end of it. Well, my longest, long runs that I'm doing at the moment are about 16, 17k, 10 or a bit miles. So if I take 16k away from the target of 80, then it means that I need to average at around 10.6, 10.7k per day for the other six days. Uh, that's assuming that I run seven days. I think it's more likely that I will probably not run every day this week because the weather's not looking great. Anyway, we've started the week off on Monday with a 14K easy run. And just like that, it's the weekend again. I didn't film at all during the week, but it's Saturday now. It's a lovely Saturday morning. I think we're gonna get sun all day today, which does make a bit of a change to the week. It was gray, it was a bit damp, but despite that, I did manage to get out and run every day this week so far. And we have a lot to talk about during this run today. In fact, we have so much to talk about, I'll probably forget some of it, but that's okay. Because I will also be taking you out on my longer run uh, tomorrow, uh, where I'll be out on the trails again. So first thing to say is after that 14K run on Monday, the distances have been shorter during the week. Put it all up on the screen now so you can see. And I've got to, I'm not gonna lie, my legs at the beginning of the week were feeling quite heavy. Really, I think that's a result of the fast 10K I did last weekend. But as the weeks progressed, even though I've been running every day, um, and the distance have been a bit shorter. As I say, my feet, my feet, my legs, uh, they're feeling quite good actually now. I think the, the, nine, the two 9Ks that I've done over the past couple of days, that's really helped, just reducing the distance down a little bit. So before today's run, we've made it up to 53 kilometers. So we've obviously got another 27 to go across the course of the next two days. And as I say, out on the trails tomorrow, that will be the longer run of the week. Next, did you see my video from earlier in the week? I interviewed Fraser from a company called Sports Barista, who make coffee. But it's just not ordinary coffee. Coffee specifically for use in sports. Watch that video, check it out, it's really interesting. Also, doing a giveaway in that video. It's got a great prize, and we'll be doing the draw very soon. Check the video out for all the details of what you've got to do if you want to be part of, and a chance of uh, winning that prize. Thank you. 
So this week has been all about trying to achieve the challenge of my highest mileage week ever. And over the last few weeks, it's all been about base building. Next week though, I am gonna let my legs rest a little bit uh, and recover from that build up of distance. But after that, I do wanna put all this base building to something further than that. So there will be a new challenge coming up. Uh, I'm not going to reveal what that challenge is in this video. Sorry about that. I'm saving that for next week's video. So check out next week's video and I will reveal all. But even before I start that training for my next challenge, I'm gonna do something that's pretty cool next weekend. Um, don't know if you've heard about this. It was only announced quite recently, I think. Uh, Organised by the guys that run the National Running Show, they have put on the indoor relay. It started this weekend, today in fact, when I'm filming. Uh, it's going to be a 24 hour, seven day a week relay with different people signing up to one hour legs. And you, the, the thing you have to do is you have to run within your own home, your garden, on your treadmill, in your garage, whatever. You, you can't go out and about and it's taking place 24 hours a day until the lockdown ends. And I believe it's all live streaming, so you should be able to watch me do it if you want. Uh, 3 p.m. on Sunday, I'll put the link to the Indoor Relay, their website. It'll explain it all on there. And yeah, if you want to get involved in it, guys, why not? You can book up a slot and you can do it. Okay, 13K done today. And as I say, keep watching, because in a moment, it'll be Sunday and I'll be out on the trails. Morning guys, up early today, out on the trails. Just me, oh, and uh, the cows. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I love it getting out early on a Sunday morning, hitting the trails getting a run done and having the rest of the day at home. No golfers at the moment, I'm afraid. So there was one piece of other news that I forgot to update you on yesterday during the run and that is I got a delivery this week. So when the lockdown was first announced, like probably lots of other people, I got onto the website, I had no idea what I was buying. I didn't really want to go for it, but I had to do my research. So I took a little bit of time trying to do some research by which time all of the existing stock of treadmills had completely sold out. Even the one that I chose after doing that research, looking at the reviews, it, uh, it still took over a month to be delivered. And if you're looking now, good luck because I don't think there's any about for quite some time. But yes, I have invested in a treadmill. So the question is, of course, will I actually end up using it? I think I will, and uh, certainly it's gonna be a benefit to the family who are used to probably not going out, uh, running on the, the roads and the trails so much. They're more going down to the gym. So they're used to treadmills, so they'll make use of it for sure. As I continue with my trail run, drop a comment below. Let me know what your highest mileage week ever is, and let me know what impact the lockdown has had on that. So how much, distance are you running in a week at the moment during the lockdown?
you two getting a little bit lost on that golf course and then getting kind of attacked by a very large dog uh, where my heart rate I suspect spiked a little bit at that point um, and then just generally really enjoying this trail run I will have clocked up half marathon distance by the time I get home so we've completely smashed our target of 50 miles 80 kilometers for the week and yeah really really enjoying it so guys I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have of course hit that thumbs up button give the video a like and if you're new around here well why not consider subscribing for regular running content but for now guys goodbye <laughs>